So what's the one thing you need to achieve your dreams? Have you ever thought about that? What are like there's essentials? There's a few essentials, but what's the one thing you need? I was thinking about that in the playground, which is why we're here. I hope you could hear me through the Bluetooth. But as I go through the challenge, I realize everyone who has is a messenger and has a message, like has a dream and they want to help people. Well, what is that dream? So if you're going along and plugging along for your dream and you're you're trying to go in two different directions, like I'm trying to go over there and Oops, I forgot I have my glasses on my head. You're trying to go over there and you're, you're, you're trying to go over here and you're trying to go over there. And, well, that's a different direction. And that ain't going to help. So what do you need? And things are going to distract you along the way. So let's just say the, the goal is to get high. If sometimes we get something that distracts us, harder to take it with us so I think about Patricia Fripp she's got two brilliant quotes that basically say it all one of them was the most inspiring quote that I ever heard one of my favorites though she says is habits are like railroad tracks they take a long time to put in place but once you do They'll take you anywhere you want to go. That's deep. Habits are like railroad tracks. They take a long time to put in place, but once you do, they'll take you anywhere you want to go. My favorite though. I only heard it, I was reminded of it last year at Lady and the Champs. She said, look, if I stop swinging, I'm slowing down. things get in my way I get off track if I stumble if I make mistakes congratulations you're human and you have a dream my favorite though of hers is this she said tell me what you say you want tell me what you say you want tell me what your hope or dream is tell me what you say you want and show me one week and you and I will both know if you'll ever achieve it. So tell me what you say you want, show me one week of your life, and you and I will both know if we ever achieve, if you'll ever achieve it. What she's saying is, hey, we got like a 168 hours or whatever it is in your, in your week. If you're not spending a couple hours a week working towards your dream, you're never gonna reach it. If you just do it once in a while, you're never going to reach it. So the one thing that I think you and I need to achieve our dream is momentum. So when you drag your foot, when you make a mistake, you still got momentum. If you're doing this challenge and you miss a day, maybe you weren't feeling great. Maybe you just forgot you got caught up. That's okay, it's just a hiccup. But if you got momentum, you can get back on track. Tell me what you say you want. Show me one week of your life and you and I will know if you'll ever achieve it. Wisdom from Patricia Fripp. Show me one week of your life. And if right now you're not creating those habits, where once a week, twice a week, you're spending an hour focused on moving forward. Hey, once a day is even better. That's why I love this challenge. It's for the serious people. Some people had told me, uh, Hi, I'm not gonna do the challenge on weekends. That's fine. I think you missed the point. It's only two to three minutes a day. Some people, well, I'm gonna start next week. I had somebody had sent me a text and he said, I'm gonna start it next week and I'm gonna do mine once a week. I was like, you're missing the point. You gotta get momentum.
So if this is a foundation for a podcast or just to build your business or to find the gold lessons that are inside you, let's look at one week of your life. Habits are like train tracks. They take a long time to put in place, but once you do, they'll take you anywhere you want to go. By the way, if you're following along, uh, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl Green, who's following and doing the Facebook Live, she came up with a hashtag that says Blame Darren. <laughs> so I love that. So if you want to add that, go ahead and add that. Um, but bottom line is get out there and help people. It's not about you and me. It's about if we care about people and we want to be a speaker or messenger, well, then we need to get out there and help people.